It's back on October 12th, 1971, that Jesus Christ Superstar hit the Broadway stage, and it is here in Connecticut. You love the, love the fact that I know the facts, y don't Yes, you? you've made I factoids. <laughs> we want to take a look at the clip from the show. So, so fun. Place. Aaron Lavanet, who plays Jesus, and Janet Rubai, who plays Mary, are joining us now. Synchronicity on Ash Wednesday. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to both of you. Great timing. <laughs> Great timing yeah. is absolutely yeah. right. All right, so we're going to start with Jesus. Aaron, uh, the role is so demanding. I don't know how you do it every night, especially Gethsemane. I mean, when you sing that song, it's like seven minutes of pure physical <laughs> workout. H how do you maintain that, and how do you do that? I just tell the story the best I possibly can every night. That's that's my job. And and, and do you, do you go to physical therapy afterwards. <laughs> I am. Yes. <laughs> we talked about this backstage. I have a little, little PT schedule today. Keep me nice and strong. Yeah, yeah. that's strong just awesome. This is. I mean, it's such an iconic production. And these roles. I mean, what was that like to think I am playing Jesus and Mary? Oh, it's an it's an honor, really. Mm -hmm. right. And to be celebrating the 50th anniversary is kind of astounding. I mean, there are not. There aren't so many things that you can say. It's really stood the, the test, test of time, yeah. you know, Absolutely. like this, like this musical and this music. So getting to sing these songs that are so beloved every night is is a, an honor. Oh uh, well, I have to tell you, I did, you know, I was doing the research because Helen Reddy. I don't know, I don't know how. To, it's one of my favorite songs on, on earth, and it comes from this musical. I didn't realize that it was Mary speaking to Jesus. That mm -hmm. Mary was falling in love with Jesus in this show. Well, it, yes, uh, and it's up to that interpretation. Yes, and there's a lot of interpretation. There's in a the lot show. of interpretation in the show, especially in our production. It's a very yeah. fresh, raw, energetic, modern take. It's more like a rock concert, dance concert vibe. So there's a lot of ways you can interpret it, and and mine is is one of wonder and um, how is this man doing these things? And it's a uh, it's really neat to kind of explore that every night. Yeah, yeah, that is really it really cool. is. Yeah, I, f I feel the same way. I think that our our style of storytelling um, it's very physical. The choreography is very intense. Um, there's a lot of there's a lot of emotion in it. There's a lot of emotion in the actual song. There's a lot of mo emotion from the orchestra, uh, from the singers. It's a celebration, man. It's fun. Yeah, it's a different it's a different fresh fun, fast take on it. Yeah, I mean, it is, uh, from seeing the clips, it is like a concert. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But plot-wise, is this this is a specific time period in Jesus' life, yeah. right? Yeah, it's, it's definitely, um, it's definitely the last seven days of, of the life of Christ. Um, in this version, we're celebrating the music in this version, right? We're going back to the 50th anniversary Brown album, concept album. So in this version, Jesus is a musician. So he's a singer-songwriter, he walks out with a guitar wears a man bun on the show, and there are people that are like in his band, in his group, and this is how the story starts, and tonight, I just get, I just happen to play Jesus every single night. We come out with together. With your man bun. That's right. With a, <laughs> we, we come out in a group, we, we start, and we start the show, and then the story takes from there, takes off from there, and then we all make decisions on, on how we feel at the end. And much of the plot line revolves around Judas, and how yes. he is not happy with the way Jesus is taking the disciples. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. this, this, this show is written from the, the, the narrative of Judas, essentially. It starts off him warning Jesus, saying, listen, if we're going to keep going down this road, things are going to end poorly for all, for all of us here, and they do. So um, he was right the whole time. Right. <laughs> so for, if someone has never seen the show, or maybe someone, uh, this is not even part of their faith, would they still get oh, a lot out of it? Absolutely. Again, it's, it's up to the interpretation, of, especially in this one. Yeah. There are so many visual aspects. Again, the choreography and the way that our version is telling the story, you, you get something different from it, even if you don't even know what's going on. And the music in itself. It's funny that you mentioned, you touched on, on faith, because uh, people of faith show up, they have a specific idea of what they think Jesus should look like, sound like, be, and I think with this one, I think a lot of people walk away with, oh wow, there's, there's a bit more of a human element attached with this, because there's so much emotion in the music, and so much connection between the people on stage, that it's kind of a fun 
take to see like, oh, these were human beings mm. that, that we're talking about here. Mm. Which is just great. Well, we're so excited for the both of you and we look forward to seeing the show. I think I'm going to go Friday night. Let's awesome. go. So yes. I'm going to be sitting in there. I'll, I'll play the role of Judas if you need. You'll need be a, singing along. I'll be singing along, I which is sing. just yeah, great. you got all of the lyrics. <laughs> you got all the lyrics right I don't know how to love him. You can take it now. I'm going to do it. But it there would be a very different me. version if I were singing that song to Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Again, well, and speaking of uh, closets, we're going to be coming out of one in just a bit. <laughs> Again, Jesus Christ Superstars on stage at the beautiful Bushnell Theater through Sunday, March 1st. It's going to be March. Can you believe it? Can you it? believe it? For ticket details and more information, visit bushnell.org. Yeah, it's iconic. So it is we're iconic. so happy to have them.